Welcome back guys to Golden Sun as we go through the Lost Woods-esque Mughal Forest as we've just found ourselves a djinn to be captured and added to our party so let's get puzzling through or more to the point let's get moving some logs it seems to be able to push through and then if he wants do battle Another Jin Ah, oh, a Venus Ginny appears! Or does his party attack first? Should we put it to sleep again? That seemed quite a good idea last time. Oh, wait a second, I've still got a Jin to ready to summon here. Um, yeah, maybe I should set you first, because I'm not going to do that much damage with you at that point in time. So, we get off using powerful abilities. Let's use Heat Wave, Sleep, and follow it up with a big Icicle, maybe. No effect though. It's gonna run, it's gonna run! Right, Flint is set, so we are now more powerful. Heat Wave comes out to do 86 damage. Garrett's damage potential is always really high after all. And let's get using powerful abilities. Like, no, Ragnarok won't do. A normal attack will probably be better for you. Heat Wave. We couldn't get sleep on that time, but let's get a Plasma down and Tundra as well. All the damaging abilities, and we know which way his weakness lies. Right, Gaia is cast on the party, which does a fair bit of damage, it seems. Heat wave comes out. It didn't finish the gin yet. Tundra, will that finish the job? Indeed it did. I wanted to kind of use Ivan's gin to finish the job at that moment. I knew it would be low HP, but either way, we gained a party member, and that's all that really matters. So the Venus Ginny, Quartz, joined Olives. Right, what does Quartz do when it's at home? Right, revive a downed ally. So we've got ourselves a set revive here, apart from the extra stats it gives. So that's not bad, and as it is with Ivan's one here, the extra one, it allows us to use one without losing a class. So, oh, actually, before we continue battling, might be good to top up Mia's HP a little bit, and then move on, because it seems we've still got a puzzle going on right here, right now. So, by the look of it, no, I don't want to push you that way, I want to push you that way. Because that'll enable me to jump over, and use force over here. Right, we moved that one over there, did we? So, I guess there was no one in there to start off with, so we wouldn't have been able to summon a guy to show us a path or anything such as that. Either way, let's get to work attacking. Let's just use a ray. Or plasma would be good. And then... I'll follow it with a tundra, my dear. Tons of damage. Weakness strikes. Corporal slash, though the physical and all that should finish it off. In fact, I should have just went with the physical. We'll get it right sometime. Nicely done. And we fell them all. For a nice experience gain. And we got some crystal powder as well, which is... What again? Right, crystal powder. What does it do? causes damage with ice. Not a bad ability to have, and just on Garrett as well, he can cause all different kinds of ability damage. Force to hit. And we're going to the left, it seems, so let's keep on following. I wonder if there's any more gin here. Well, there's more monsters, that's for sure. Bone fighter and the whatnot, let's get to work. Now, will that take them down? Have I done enough damage here? I do not know until all the damage starts coming in, and it is doing nice amounts. Garrett, though, could use a heal by the look of it. We didn't take down the Bone Fighter. Who is what weakness again? Oh, I always forget, right. That's the difference between doing things between filming or not. Right, uh, let's keep you on defense and apply to Garrett. Indeed, it is that one, so there we go. I did remember in the end, even though I always sound so unsure. We recover 115 HP and fell ourselves another spirit as Ollis levels up to a level 14 knight and learns Quake Sophia. So that's not bad. Mia shouldn't be far from leveling as well due to that. Reset and keep going. Right, is there anything actually down there? No treasure chest or anything? Well, it, ah, this looks confusing. Have we made it through Muggle Forest? The answer to that is not yet. Right, we found ourselves a monkey, though, who went off that way.
Hitting that one brings us an enemy one who's not so happy about things. So we get working against the ape. Let's just go with actual physical attacks here and try to save the PP. Of course, you can do damage to us with the ransack ability, can't you? Nasty man. Another ply to go over here. The opponent isn't defeated just yet. I think it's time for your sword to howl. Nope, just a normal attack will do. That's fine by us. We're getting the full amount out of our plies at the moment, so that's not too bad. And another green one as well, so there is... Down and left can be done. Hmm. Sounds to me like there was going to be more treasure chests around, and we do find just that. So... To get that chest, it seems I've got a move puzzle going on here. So let's push you that way. Push you that way. And then push you across to finish the job, using up all that PP. And the chest has an elven shirt inside, so let's see who that will be best equipped on. Use the give option. Right, it's not so great for you. Boost agility, however, which makes me wonder. Should I put it on you, madame, so you attack a lot faster? Overall defense-wise, it increases Ollis the most? But it's the agility that matters here. So let us indeed increase your agility as a whole to make it so you don't act so late. Apart from that, your previous shirt, the Adept's Clothes, which boosted PP. Ah. Right, what do you have? You have one as well for that. Okay, we could switch that onto Ollis, however, to increase his PP values. He's got, at the moment, the Fur Coat to resist water, which I think, to be honest, having more PP would be a little bit more handy. So let's move that over indeed. Equip that here, and Mia doesn't have the fur coat equipped, so we've got ourselves stuff that we can get selling. Right then, we've got ourselves a fair bit of PP at the moment, so let's go to work. Right, it's... Weakness is... Ah. It's being able to hit it with a weakness successfully that sucks. Hmm. Right, Garrett, attack that one as well. Uh... Mia, attack that one. I don't know how to do this, but I want to get the double damage thing on him. It kind of means that I need to wait a little bit, if you know what I mean. Now, can I go in with all this before? Oh, we just do it that way anyway. Defend. Let's see if it works. Attack with Mighty Gust. Will it be enough damage? I think it will be, so we got a double hit there. Extra experience. We got ourselves the Scribe level up. So Mia levels up to level 14, and of course, after every battle where we use one, we try to use it to get the bonuses, but it just takes time trying to arrange things, if you know what I mean. So down is our correct route, we've got ourselves a treasure chest. Can we hit that from far away? We can, but it doesn't do anything. What we need to do is puzzle over here. Get pushing once more. Alright, so we overlock that. Hello, guy. You're gonna go pop over there, are you? And we're gonna instantly get into battle versus Death Head. That sounds not so great, doesn't it? Um. Yeah, I'm gonna use Gust on you to do ultra damage, hopefully. No, only 46 damage. We defeated Death Head all the same. We got a nut from him, so that's not bad, but his name just sounds horrible when you think about it. Is he going to cast instant death spells? Am I going to go down so easily? I don't know, but we're going to have a pushing puzzle, it seems. So let's get moving on around. Now, what do I push first? It seems like I've got to push them in an order no matter what with how things are shaped, so... Let's get breaking these down. Oh, this has got full PP at the moment, which isn't bad, so I'm going to use a little bit of that to break down this party in a nice, quick fashion. Of course, Plasma will do extra damage to the spirits. Ragnarok will break down the Bone Fighter without any issue. And we did not do enough damage there to finish those guys off. All the same, though, let's get... And to be honest, the Cure going. We've got the PP, so we may as well use it a bit. Over there, 
get a gust to take one down for weakness and another attack over here. Brilliant. Let's see if we can get ourselves any items with that. Will the extra experience will do me? But nope, no good for me. Hitting the menus though is kind of important in that kind of status. Right, we need to go all the way down and up again. Actually, we don't need to push the upwards at all, we're fine. Let's hit here and see which route we gotta take. To be honest, I half expect you to try to attack me at some point, so we've gotta go down. I'm just wondering if there's any treasure chests around, to be honest. Right, it seems that it's just a double route as well, so if we go back here, we just come down there. Going on further probably wouldn't help me too much, but here we go, we've got ourselves a big group. In fact, we've got ourselves a new square. Well, that uses a lot of PP, that's for sure, so it's got to be powerful. So let's go ahead with it. Um, no, I did not want to defend. Let's go that, and if we don't take them out, a Tundra to add on. Quake Sophia comes out, looking like the Quakes from before. It does tons of damage to the enemies, but... Not enough to finish them. The death head goes down. Is Garrett queued up? He is indeed. So nicely done. Garrett is now a level 14 soldier who learns the soldier's fireball. So more spells gain. Will Ivan level up as well? No. We're getting ourselves tons of experience from this place and tons of levels with it. Another fight will probably do me good. I say that, but then another fight might come to me at this point in time. Alright, looking around sees nothing, but we've got to start worrying when noises like that happen, so let's top up Ivan quickly. I say if anything then, aha! We didn't hit it because I was worried there might be something in it. I was going to see if walking past it would help. But now we've got the Killer Ape against us. Now what is the Killer Ape's weakness? Well, in the meantime, just use all our strong abilities and try to work things out. Heat wave. we use a... Oh, I kind of fancy putting it to sleep if I can. Yeah, let's try to put it to sleep. I doubt we can. But either way, it will work for showing us what weaknesses are from the other guys. Especially because it fell asleep. Killer 8 can't do anything. Okay, Ragnarok isn't it, but it does 91 damage all the same. Brilliant. That's not it either. Heat wave. Indeed, fire is what we want to be using. In the meantime, though, I may as well keep using things like Ragnarok. Should we get bound with another big round of spells again? To be honest, I might want to save Mia, to be honest. To be honest, to be honest, to be honest. All right, Killer Ape's still asleep. And I'm going to attack it with as much as I can in the meantime. Ragnarok does so much now. Heat wave as well. I'm amazed it isn't defeated yet, but it waits for the slumber all the same. So let's go with another Ragnarok. Should we try to... If we can, let's do it. Apart from that, let's try to put it back to sleep. And then... I say follow up of apply, but I'm just going to defend. Right, fine. So no synergy for Ivan, but no, he's fine. Sleep has no effect on Killer 8, though. But we've already hit it with powerful abilities. Mia's defending. Fever comes out. 89 damage wrapped in a delusion. That's not too bad for us. Let's use another Ragnarok. Let's set the gin just in case. Uh, can we not set it? Yes, yeah, set indeed. Another sleep is not bad. It's already covered in delusion. It hasn't really hit me for anything so far. Mia defends. Just in case we can get anything good here. Hopefully the Ragnarok won't finish the job, but if it does, oh well. 89 damage, doesn't finish the job. We've got ourselves... Oh, it can see clearly again. Isn't it asleep as well? Okay, let's use Fever once more. I'm pretty sure it's completely knocked out at this point in time. Let's use Impact on you. Everything's going quite nicely. We've got him locked down with our sleep command here. Attack rises. Killer Ape's still asleep. Defending, defending. 110 damage. Awakes from slumber. Not good. Right. We still haven't managed to take it down somehow. But of course that's because we're trying to get this right. We're trying to get it with a bonus. So another sleep spell goes out. And of course Mia can't do anything but defend. 
How much HP do you reckon it has? Do you think we're near to defeating it? Well, it's using Ransack, which does only 34 damage. Ah, because we're defending, of course. Defend. Fever once more. Another sleep. See, I could have defeated it by now. 100%. This boss is not anything special. Falls asleep yet again. Status effects are good, and we still haven't done it! You're kidding me! Oh, I'm so wanting to get it done right, if you know what I mean. Ah! Everyone's asleep. The gin's set. You can see clearly once again. It wakes up from slumber. So we go yet again with another fever. It doesn't seem to like it, that's for sure. Another sleep. Okay, a war cry. What's that? 21 damage. Olive becomes unable to move. He was defending it all the same. Enemy falls asleep. And we defeated the boss with the right ability. I wanted to do it. I knew we'd done tons of damage to it. We got 598 experience points due to it. Leveling up Ivan. I don't know if we'll get an item or anything, but Magician Storm Ray has been learned. So brilliant. We got ourselves a Douse Drop in the meantime. Which is what? Right, a douse drop bestows douse when equipped, so it gives an ability, does it? Equip to Mia over here, and then we'll use it. Right, douse, attack with a surge of water. It's a spell in itself, and it also puts water on things, which is good, I guess, but what we're interested in is its applications as an outside battle usage ability, which if we're right in saying, remember that fire that we couldn't get rid of earlier with next to the icicle pillar? Going back there could be pretty good, but for now we continue onwards. Right then. Apart from this weird place over here, nothing's going on. Everyone's leveled up though, which is brilliant. So, tons more enemies. Let's use Storm Ray. Oh, we got ourselves the fire ability here, so to be honest, let's attack one guy on the far edge. Use Mars on that lot. Storm Ray on that lot. And Mia, you never get to attack anymore. The Storm Ray was going to do enough damage, if you know what I mean. Vorpal Slash. Dirge uses a flying attack. Who'd have thought it's a flying enemy? Will Mars finish the job? It will indeed. Nicely done. We did not need Mia at all. Sorry, Mia, we got you in the party, but you're just too slow. We tried to equip you with agility and all that. Well, what's over here? Okay. I was just saying, because it was just way off in its own direction, so interesting is all I can really say it is. Hmm, okay, let's go to work. We're so near a home base at this point in time that I'm pretty sure we can get things down... We'll just use our PP anyway, so let's just use all the spells, finish them off. Ragnarok will finish off you, Bone Guy. Oh, I was hoping Garrett would go first, but of course your agility's been slightly above Garrett's now. And that fells them with no issue. There's a random tree on the edge though, which means I'm going to press A and see if there's anything good here, but no is the answer to that one. It looked too suspicious, like this looks suspicious, but no, no suspiciousness. Let's get on in to Xi'an. Hello, people! A new town! This is Xi'an! Travelers are welcome here. Relax! Stay long! Assassins from the sky! Many, many thieves! But I do not worry! Xi'an has many kung fu masters! Master Fei is strong! Indeed it is. Well, now we're in a town, of course. It's always good to switch up our combos here and learn information. So... Master Fei said, Yah! And then the thieves fell! What thieves, then? These children must have come to study Kung Fu at Master Fei's school! Well, I do train at a master school, but not exactly Master Fei. Right, all the people who came to eat are from Xi'an. What happened there? There are fewer travelers, so fewer people eat here. Where are all the travelers? Well, probably because there's a forest of doom in the way? Tourism probably isn't on the rise, let's put it that way. Well, you should learn about the towns they visit. Just traveling and fighting is a sad life. Oh, I can't mind read you. He has nothing on his mind. When you go to the new place, follow the rules in the new place. This is an old saying in Xi'an. It's not exactly that hard of a saying. Welcome to my inn, he says. 40 coins for a stay? Well, to be honest, I'll take the restore and synergy. 
Our party is in good nick, that's for sure. Was it nice to rest? Come stay again. Sure thing, sir. Well, nothing is in any of your barrels. Nothing seems to be in your inn in general. We have ourselves an upper floor as well. Nothing in the barrels, nothing in the shelf. Oh, there's a kimono. It looks like a nightgown for guests staying at the inn. Oh, we don't want to take it. It hasn't got good stats. Normally, many merchants come to the village, but they have not come yet. I think that is strange. I'm sure you do. When many merchants come, my business is good. But if no merchants come, my business is very bad. I'm sure. Right, nothing found in any barrel, nothing found in any place. Check the jar, nothing either. Or well, the inn comes a bust for any items or goodness. But still, we've reached ourselves a new town. We've got through the forest. We gained ourselves a new synergy. Levels to go with it. New spells galore. Join me next time for more Golden Sun, as we hope to earn much more. Bye-bye.